Good Sunday evening, everybody, live and direct, hopefully. There we go, that's better. We're looking at a quiet evening in the Mid-South area for the most part. We're looking also at some very hot conditions across much of the area for the rest of the week, including the potential of maybe some heat advisories coming our way by the time we hit later on during the week. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Down here in the lower left-hand corner of your screen, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for the latest Sunday evening edition of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. If you've never been here before. We cover the areas around West Tennessee, northern areas of Mississippi, and back into eastern Arkansas, below the Missouri Boot Hill, and into around middle Mississippi. That's what we call the Mid-South, Memphis being right in the center of that. We have, again, plenty of weather information here for you. Questions, concerns, ideas, you can get more information, again, through wreg.com slash weather. Email address right down here, austin.onic at wreg.com. Current conditions here, 87 in the backyard, winds southwest at about 4. Tonight Tonight's forecast here in the Red Bar, 73 degrees for a low temperature in the metro area, the Memphis-Shelby County area, and that's going to be about as good as it gets, and also into the rest of the forecast numbers back in the mid-90s. Thanks to everybody for joining us on Periscope and Twitter right now and going to be seeing again a lot of opportunities to ask questions about the forecast here in the Mid-South area. If you've got them, post them into the comments section. We'll get there on that. Uh, evil underscore on evil underscore on toast. Uh, what made you want this career? Good question. I grew up in Topeka, Kansas and you get a very good respect for the weather in that area. Strong winters, powerful storms, heat waves, you get a ton of weather coming through portions of northeast Kansas, so it's a good opportunity to learn a lot more about the weather out there. So good question. Thanks to Evil on Toast for asking that one, and thanks to everybody for joining us on Periscope and Twitter for tonight. Earthquakes in the Mid-South, technically not anything involving weather. But again, this is something we keep an eye on because the New Madrid Fault is just north of us around the Boot Hill, Missouri. Uh, this should be the website address right in here at this point in time. And that is again where we see again the national uh, keeping up to date of earthquakes from the United States Geological Survey, earthquakes at .usgs.gov, and also from the Center for Earthquake Research and Information available from the University of Memphis. That, unfortunately, the somehow getting the text messed up there, that's at memphis.gov edu slash CERI, the Center for Earthquake Research and Information, great facility for seismic data and all sorts of things, but no earthquakes to report in the Mid-South in the last 24 hours or so. Windy Country Club appears to be having some difficulty at this point, so we will move on and see what's available out there. There we go, Rhodes College in central Memphis, sunset almost, and a silhouetted tower and buildings into around the area of central Memphis. Not too many clouds out there this evening. A lot of sunshine out across the Mid-South. Olive Branch, Mississippi, Squawk 1111's webcam kind of having difficulty being seen at this point in time, so getting some fairly quiet conditions into around the Mid-South area for right now. Not getting a lot in there where it comes to cloud cover. Still plenty of sunshine across the Mid-South. From former mayor of Olive Branch and current meteorologist Sam Reichard, his webcam from Olive Branch City Hall just south of the Memphis metro area in Olive Branch, Mississippi on the weather underground system showing again the quiet conditions out there and almost around sunset. If you've got pictures around the area, we would love to be able to see them, so please pass them along to us and we'll feature them on News Channel 3 social media. Fading sunlight around Mineral Wells, Mississippi. Tim B's webcam also on the weather underground system and unfortunately the forecast bar is covering up the weather data that he usually sees down there. Plenty of sunlight, almost getting close to sunset at Heidelberg Elementary in Clarksdale, Mississippi this evening and on the warm side out that direction at this point in time. Uh, Andy 8181, my vote is my own. I God bless the land of the secret ballot, and I don't have to say anything about that. As of right now, we're looking again at temperatures back into the lower 80s, and we'll continue to see some quiet but very warm conditions into the area as we get into this evening. Temperatures again not bad. We'll also see again winds out of the south and that's going to help to transport in a lot of very warm air into the area and that's going to be sticking around as we go throughout the course of the next several days. That is going to be possibly leading to the potential of maybe some heat advisories in the area. Nothing going on right now but again that's something we're going to need to watch as we start to head toward the end of the week but by midnight mid to upper 70s lower to mid 70s and that's going 
going to be about as good as it gets for portions of the Mid-South for low temperatures later on tonight. While we have time, let's go ahead and step into the forecast and show you more about what's going on. The Running the numbers into the mid-upper 70s, lower 80s around the Memphis metro area through about News Channel 3 at 10. Heading into later on tonight, News Channel 3's Todd Demers will be in bright and early tomorrow morning with daybreak starting at 4.30. 6 a.m. temperatures, upper 60s to lower 70s, and also looking again at temperatures rising easily into the mid 80s by mid morning about the time news channel 3's live at 9 is on the air lunchtime temperatures tomorrow if you're dining outdoors shade would be a very good idea uh, if you're working tomorrow and exercising outdoors take breaks drink back the water your body sweats away this is going to be the weather that really saps your strength and can lead to heat injury so please remember that keep an eye on your friends your co-workers your co-exercise companions, whoever you've got with you. Watch for the signs of heat injuries. Know what to look for and keep an eye on that. Very warm tomorrow. Temperatures in the lower to mid 90s across much of the area and seeing those numbers continue right on in through tomorrow evening where they may drop off a bit through about Monday News Channel 3 at 10. Severe weather potential at this time. Not seeing anything for the Mid-South as we go through Monday and also not seeing too much of anything as we go into the course of the rest of the week. So very quiet early on, but there will be chances of showers and thunderstorms back in the forecast. When? Keep an eye on this graphic right here, and we'll show you more about that. Throughout the rest of the next several days, forecast is going to be pretty much boringly similar. Numbers back in the lower to mid-90s, all the way into around the midweek. But that is where we start to see, again, the potential of showers and thunderstorms forming back up again in the afternoon and evening and that will continue right on in through the rest of the week so for daycare camps church camps swimming lessons going on anything outdoors you're not only going to have the heat and humidity to deal with you're also going to have the potential for again the possibility of seeing showers and thunderstorms out there which could cause some problems again with outdoor activities so please keep that in mind for safety's sake and we'll have an update on the 10-day forecast coming up on news channel 3. let's take a look around the area we'll crunch the numbers on here it takes a little bit but we are still live on Facebook and or pardon me on Twitter and Periscope going out into the tropics real quick we have again little to report where we are Eugene was a tropical storm yesterday it is now a category 3 hurricane but the good news is it's no threat to Mexico or the United States and it is heading up into around cooler waters of the Pacific so it's not expected to be a threat there what's left of tropical depression number four is now wandering around the Caribbean and the Western Atlantic otherwise the National Hurricane Center is saying no development at this time in the next two to five days which is definitely good news there Let's take a look and see what's going on with weather where the troops are. If you have friends or loved ones serving in the United States military, this is what it's looking like around Afghanistan as the sun starts to come up. 70s and mid to upper 80s out that direction. A little bit warmer into Iraq. Nighttime temperatures into around the mid 90s around Baghdad and Najaf. Lower 90s in Basra and 82 degrees back toward the Mosul area. Rest of the Persian Gulf temperatures in the upper 80s to around the lower 90s. Winds variable, not seeing much of anything else. We can get some pretty good sandstorms at this time of the year, but nothing going on there. Korean Peninsula, thunderstorms all over the area south of the DMZ from Chuncheon down to Pusan and around Kunsan to Seoul and Taegu. Temperatures in the high 70s to lower 80s and back toward Guantanamo Bay in Cuba, mid 80s showing up there. So again, temperatures not doing too bad with a high temperature today of 91. Todd Demers has a lot more for you coming up bright and early tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak. You can catch my forecast with Bob and Josh on Todd Talk back live. That'll be bright and early Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio. You can catch them online as well. Great sports chat in the Mid-South area. Great guests on here. A great opportunity to talk with them about weather and science from time to time. So give them a shot. And of course, go take a look at all my social media web pages. We'll have tons more information available for you there. We'll have more information again. It's about quarter to eight right now. We'll be live on our main Facebook page at facebook.com slash WREG3 at the top of the hour at eight o'clock central time. And again, any more questions, if there's anything you'd like to address directly, something you'd like to see on here, something we don't offer too much, something you'd like to see more about like climate data, river information, uh, anything like, excuse me, in the way of air quality, we'd love to be able to feature it, but we can't do so unless you send it to us. So if you'd like 
like to tell me about it, here's where you send it to. Again, austin.onic at wreg.com, and we'll try to get you, again, information about that. Again, join me on News Channel 3 at 10. Todd Demers has more coming up bright and early on Daybreak tomorrow morning, and Tim and Jim tomorrow afternoon. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thank you very much for joining me tonight for the latest edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, and stay tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the week on air and online for more.